night. On New Year's Eve, I hosted a four-hour program, and three of those hours were shared by Mark Anthony Brennan. Mark Anthony Brennan is my host, my host, my guest tonight on Variations on the Theme as we present the entire album, The Astonishing Exploits of General Purvis Attaboy. When I introduced Mark uh, on the show, though, I made reference to his other band, The Purveyors of Free Will. And in that vein, here is the Red Army Chorus of the Soviet Union doing Que Sera Sera and War Is Over, Free Will versus Total Chaos. This is Variations on a Theme. Hi, this is Mark Anthony Brennan. Thanks, George, for having me. And uh, yes, as you mentioned, um, I am the purveyors of free will. But a few months ago, um, I met up with Adam Cantor, who is also a host here at CFUV. And he is also General Gruff, uh, also an electronic musician like myself. So we decided to get together, and uh, we actually just really did it for fun. Uh, we did an EP just before Christmas. Um, we had so much fun, we decided to do an entire album. So right now, uh, we're going to present to you in, in its entirety, uh, The Astounding Exploits of General Purvis Attaboy by General Perv, which is Adam and I. And uh, if we're ready to go, George, the first track is Where Flesh and Steel Mosh, and the second track is Moog Bombing the Kremlin. The Astonishing Exploits. Of general? <laughs> okay, so we got a few seconds to kill. Right? Like, oh, well, you should have told me right that. Now, I can right. fill in. Uh, I can fill in if you want. I have a hand time first. <laughs> here, here it comes. All right. Two tracks from the astounding exploits of General Purvis Attaboy, and my guest is Mark Anthony Brennan. Hello. And uh, somewhere out there in Ontario is Alan. There is a... Adam. Adam, Adam <laughs> sorry. Adam, yes. Adam. Unless he changed his name. No, no, I'm thinking Adam, Adam, Adam. <laughs> oh, these tongue-tied things. Yeah. We're going to pursue the rest of the... We want the album as a whole. So yeah. coming up next is... Oh, track number three. <laughs> Oh, it is Acid. Acid Mount Doug. I wanted to do a part of... This, this, uh, yeah, folks, you know we are experimenting a little bit with the form of presentation of a full album. But I wanted to do a little bit... We were calling this uh, somewhere between Foster Ewan and Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, which makes me Beavis and Butthead, I think, in this scenario. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Beavis and Butthead made a lot of money. You know? Well, true. true. Mike true. Judge. Anyway. Anyway, we should listen to this. It's, this is Acid Mount Doug. The, the thing I really like about the title is it's... You know, you have to basically be from Victoria to know where Mount Doug is is right and why do you want to do acid brown oh uh, well you know if you kind of know acid mountain drug you know it's kind of like wink wink you know kind of what we're talking about anyway um yeah it's a great track and it's uh we should listen to it because some great lovely stuff by adam here here's general perv <laughs> You are listening to General Perv for uh, the entire hour of variations on the theme. And uh, Well, if you want to talk about the sort of concept behind the album, it's not really a concept album in, in the sense that the songs don't follow the concept, except for the last two tracks, which hopefully we'll talk about it in the second half hour. Um, but the name General Perv obviously comes from... Um, Adam's pers musical persona is General Gruff, and my musical persona is the uh, purveyors of free will. So you just put them together and get General Perf. Um, P-U-R-V. With a U. Yes, yeah, because uh, the, the, there is a, quite a difference uh, in the nature uh, of the... Well, uh, yes, and of course, we're, we're quite mindful of the fact that it does sound like, you know, you're being a General 
perv with an E, uh, which we don't mind, that kind of playful fun at all. Um, but uh, we thought, well, why don't we expand the idea and actually invent this character, you know, called General Purvis at a, at a boy. And uh, so I actually just sort of based the whole idea of the album on this sort of Edwardian naughty postcard idea this is this incompetent pompous uh general british general in the army and you have the um you have the uh, in on the internet, the Bandcamp site. The yes. postcards are there. So every every track has a, has a special postcard. And this album is on a, the Purveyors uh, Bandcamp site. It's on the. It's uh, you have to go to Baffled Octopi, Baffled Octopi uh, Records. But the thing is, if you just punch in General Perv with a U, it'll take you straight there. It really will take you straight, and especially if you put in like the astounding exploits of General Purvis Attaboy, there's it'll take you no other and the place than the Bandcamp page. So it's not hard to find. It's really hard to. It's really easy to find the uh, the Bandcamp page. Anyway, um, so that was the whole idea behind uh, General Purvis Attaboy and his astounding exploits and his um, naughty exploits with uh, Flo and Caddy, and uh, the list goes on. <laughs> the next track we are hearing now it just started. Here it is, Terminal Veracity, General Perv. Mark Anthony Brennan here again from General Perv. And we've been listening to the astounding exploits of General Purvis Attaboy. And I just want to talk about the titles of the tracks. Um... The way it works is the the second person is always the person who really puts the track together, uh, mixes it, and it you know essentially becomes their track at the end of the day, and th- they're the person that, that gets to to uh, name the the track. So, um, for example, um, moog bombing the moog bombing. I slipped. I tripped Dogu. over it. I, oh damn it! Dogu, you'd have a hard oh, time. Oh man, <laughs> moog bombing the Kremlin it was originally just simply called moog bomb. Uh, but then I thought of the idea of like it really sounded like you were like dropping moogs on on the gremlin, and 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 then this next one is called Old Lady in Gore-Tex, and it actually is the only one where Adam came along with the title, and I liked it so much I didn't change it. Did so it, Old Lady in, Bar- in Gore-Tex. Did it influence your guys getting the postcards as part of the uh, album release? This is kind of the opposite. Old Lady in Gore-Tex is completely the opposite of an Edwardian pinup, don't you think? I couldn't think of anything more further away. I never judge. <laughs> On Variations on a Theme tonight, you are listening to the entirety of the astounding exploits of General Purvis Attaboy. My name is Georges. I'm usually the host of Music of the Last Century. I'm taking a couple weeks off, uh, kind of, re- 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 I'm taking a couple weeks off. I'll be back on May the 1st with new programs in my 2 to 3 p.m. slot on Wednesdays. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, this program is going to be filling it completely with, uh, I guess, in the background, the General Perv album of our two DJs here from... Uh, CFUV FM 101.9 on your radio dial if you still listen to radio. <laughs> 